The development on the east side of the campus um, draws a lot of attention. This is an image from UWA's recent video on March 20th of this year. The link is here, and I will put all the links in the video in the video description section, so it's easy to follow up. This picture shows a good view of the new development area around here. And this is a land tendering announcement for the first land in 2018. It says the area is about uh, 864,000 square meters. So the land is the, this land is the main campus of the Gigafactory Shanghai now. The boundary actually is defined, are defined by uh, some green belts, so it's not very clear. And now we know this is the campus map of the current Gigafactory in Shanghai. To verify the area, I use software to draw a, a few points along the lease line and get the circled area, which is this number. And this is the published uh, area. So we see that this is a you know, very accurate, 99.6% accurate. Therefore, the new land here, the, new, the east extension, is not part of uh, the original land. And I did measure the land here. The area is about 118,000 square meters. So it's not something small or could be run off area. This is the second land announcement on March 1st of this year. So the area is about 461,000 square meters. And this will be finalized in a few days. Apparently, the eastern, east extension is not part of a second land, not right in location or timing. So we can say the east, east extension is not a Tesla property. Let's see from another angle. And this is the construction work behind the, the, the powertrain unit. So the, this image is from Uwa's another video. The link is here. So you see here, this one, this one, this one, this one. And those are the foundations for the for a simple iron, uh, steel frame building. So for bigger machines, like a you know stamping shot, stamping machine, they will need a much bigger uh, foundation. However, in the new land, the east extension, they have they don't have any material foundation. It's mainly a layer of uh, concrete. So without a proper foundation, the soil condition here, you see the river and the pond here, the soil condition here will not support any permanent, permanent buildings. So for now, the purpose of the construction area is mainly for the storage of construction material, the living quarter and office. Now we know that it is not a property of Tesla and it doesn't support permanent buildings. What could it be? The first possibility is it is a construction yard and living quarter and office for the building team, which is working on the you know several build, several buildings on, on the main campus. Once the work is done, the land will be returned to the government and may be restored to farmland or greenbelt. There's another possibility, which I hope it is true. After work, Tesla can continue to rent the land and convert it into a large parking lot for new cars and logistic containers. And this will not be any permanent, uh, permanent buildings there. So, so why not buy it out? The land in Shanghai is quite expensive, especially on the commitment side. The east extension is not very small. It's about a quarter of the second land. If we use analog method, this east extension could require about $265 million investment and every year generate $2.9 billion revenue. That is too much for a parking lot. Tesla does need a large size open land for parking new cars and logistic, logistic containers because uh, they are about to lose the current one for construction reason. Hopefully, Shanghai's government can offer some flexibility to Tesla to work it out.
that's it. Thank you for watching and welcome to subscribe. Leave some comments if you have a different opinions on this. Thank you.